There's the coroner, Van. Let's try that. Coroner's officials, three, two, one. Coroner's officials have stopped the truck outside the gates of this home, and they're now holding a press conference. And you can see dozens of members of the media now talking to the officials, still photographers, camera crews, and reporters gathered outside the gates of this exclusive home here in Santa Re Re Hovering over Rancho Santa Fe, I can see the refrigerated truck carrying as many as 20 victims from this exclusive home. Now, the coroner's officials have stopped in the street. They are talking to members of the media, several dozen of them now gathered outside the van's uh, door, trying to get word, any detail at all, on this story. That's a keeper. looking at is what we're looking at are coroner's officials, scientific investigators outside the gates of this exclusive home here in Rancho Santa Fe. Now what's going on down there are several dozens of... Okay, yeah, I, I got so many radios going. Several dozen members of the media have surrounded the coroner's van trying to leave the residence, and it appears as though the coroner's investigators are speaking with members of the media. Behind them, a refrigerated truck carrying at least 20 victims of this terrible, terrible suicide pact, and it appears as though the coroner's investigators have some information they're sharing with members of the media. I wish they'd pull out so we can get some uh, more shots here. You want to hold tape? Uh, on this, uh, you can do anything you want. You can see the swarm of media actually surrounding the spokesperson for the sheriff's department getting the latest details. And he is taking place inside with more victims being examined, packaged, and then removed and placed into the refrigerated truck. The second one has just arrived. One refrigerated truck carrying as many as 15 bodies just departed the scene. Reporting live over Rancho Santa Fe, Bob Turk, KNX Chopper 1070. Okay. Uh, KFMB, uh, uh, do you have a frequency? Do you know your frequency for off air? Thank you. Uh, 34, uh, didn't copy that. Uh, I'm on Nextel if you need to call me. One, six, one. Okay, we have 161.640 for off air, right? Yeah. Okay, and uh, I hear no off air right now, and I've got all your frequencies plugged in, so hopefully the picture's okay, and if you need to uh, feed us off air, we can use it. Jack, uh, I've put all the frequencies in. We have a live picture to KFMB right now. Ten four. You're doing it how? I'm sorry, microwave. I'm sorry, say it one more time, you got stepped on by two aircraft. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Jack, they're uh, passing it on uh, the signal on to Michael Lamb, if that makes any sense to you. Okay. Is this a body? Well, the uh, first of the uh, last batch of bodies, if you will, are now being removed by the coroner's officials. They're being placed into a coroner's truck on loan from the L.A. County Coroner's Office. The L.A. County Coroner's Office has these trucks uh, specially designed in case of air crashes. There have been so many victims that they've been called in here to San Diego County. This home is a very remote home in a very exclusive area, 5,000 square foot home. It appears two stories with a uh, uh, very uh, nice uh, set of grounds out here. The closest home is about a hundred yards away and there's a lot of open land. There are about uh, four or five dozen members of the media on scene. Uh, two uh, coroner vans uh, left a little while ago and uh, they were literally uh, wrapped around, entirely wrapped around by members of the media trying to get any bit of statement, anything that they can get uh, from the scene, from anyone that would talk to them. Also, I was here late last night, and I watched as homicide investigators went through the trash and also removed several items of evidence, including red plastic cups, lots of them. They seem very, uh, very... Uh All right, let me get a few more here. You can see uh, channel two, the bodies are coming out. I hope that's not a body. Chopper two, chopper two. see them go into the van too. Yeah, I mean we we got two but why? I'm in disturbed air too. Is this a good shot? We need to get a still photo of this once we have a few more bodies. Jack noise. What is wrong with this thing? My radio is screwing up. Um, oh, look at this guy. Uh, we are on station and we got at least two bodies and you should be quite happy. to the 508 ST. Is the 500 on?
They got another body. San Diego lifeguard. Colors, light, everything set right. Dex recording. Okay, that's okay. Well, you want to see them go inside the van. Yeah, we, you know what I mean? It's just one of the tough, the light, if the light was covered by a cloud, it'd be more even, but right now. TV2 copies. Rico, do you copy? We're shooting this on Digi Beta, digi digital beta cam, and also, um, can you make the calls? We'll have this on stills, 635 uh, millimeter still. Got three in the can. KFMB uh, chopper two. Yeah, how is our picture? Is it okay? Oh, yeah, they're operating on uh, six, I guess. I'm sure I know the answer. Yeah, is that Abel or Baker? That's the way we're configured, Abel or Baker. You know what, if it would be Abel or Baker. We're on Abel. On Baker. Okay, great. Go ahead, sir, go ahead.
10 4. I'll see you at 9 16, 9 17. Thank you. This is perfect, okay? Well, why? You can see for miles and miles. Okay, in 20 seconds, you go to film. I gotta go to this camera. KFMB, uh, Chopper 2. We're gonna shut down Carrier for just a couple of minutes and then we'll be back on with you. Yeah. I need stills, man. I need stills. You're going to cost us lots of money here. You want to get your name in Time Magazine? Get your ass back there. Put the 600 on and look, look bitching, man. <laughs> God, I got to fight with you to make you a star. Uh, you know what? I'll just take the name credit. You don't want, to, you don't want the credit. Put your seatbelt on when you open the door and stuff, okay? Yeah, okay. That's it, man. I, I don't like that. I'm not a slave owner. And you're not a convict, and I'm not sitting on a horse like Cool Hand Luke. And TV2 is still 1,000 feet in a hover over the road in front of the house.